Okay, here's another comment. I'm traumatised. Carrie, you're traumatised. You've got to wake up. You have to open your eyes. So I wanted to talk about this post and some of the comments on there. It says, ordered wings from old school pizza and received a chicken head. Was told to call back on Monday and speak to management. PSA, I did not expect this post to blow up the way it did. Yes, I know where wings come from. So in the comments, people are absolutely outraged, absolutely raging that there would be a chicken's head inside of a box of chicken wings. And you know, I just want to say, when you're talking about a box of chicken wings, I mean, let's look here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine wings in there. That is four and a half birds, baby, little baby birds that have been murdered, their limbs torn off for someone to chow down on them. Okay, so someone says, that would have freaked me out. Emotionally distressed just seeing the pic. Yuck. You're emotionally distressed to see the chicken's head from the body parts that you're eating. You're emotionally distressed. You're the one that's emotionally distressed. No, I think the chicken was emotionally distressed in their entire life where they suffered in a factory farm before having their head cut off for your greed. Somebody else says, I would be upset also. That's gross. I just, I don't understand all these people that are like, I'm upset, oh poor me, when a chicken has literally suffered in a horrible slaughterhouse, been murdered. You know, all of that violence, but these, we need to feel sorry for the humans here who are upset to see that a chicken's head is in their box of chicken wings. Okay, here's another comment. I'm traumatised. Carrie you're traumatized so you're traumatized to see the chicken's head but it doesn't traumatize you to see the wings that were torn from the same bird from the same bird the head the wings all from this vulnerable fragile little bird you know it should be traumatizing for us all to see any body parts torn off and cut up and fried that were once from a living being. That should traumatise us. Okay, so this guy here, Kiki, he's on the ball. You're literally eating chicken though. Like you are aware that chicken wings are chicken, right? Yes, spot on. Terry says, that don't mean she wants to see the MF head of the damn thing. Oh, like poor Terry here doesn't want to see the suffered face of the victims of his choices. He doesn't want to see the suffered face of a little baby chicken that was murdered because of his selfish desire to eat their flesh. Poor Terry, right? Okay, so this comment says, I'm never gonna li look at chicken wings the same. Damn it, why did I click on this? You know, I hope that you do never look at chicken wings the same again. I hope that you look at them and see the suffered baby bird that didn't deserve to die. Bird that wanted to live, suffered a horrible life, a horrible death. For what? Because people want to eat chicken? There's vegan chicken. There's amazing vegan food. You don't have to have babies suffering in factory farms and then being carted off to slaughterhouses, gassed because most chickens are gassed to death. Horrible way to die. Horrible way. Sonia says, man, the pain on that chicken's head's face and someone's laughed at that comment. They obviously think that's funny, but I find that completely distressing, completely heartbreaking you know you can see i've got the picture up here and you can see the suffering on that little baby chicken's face you know chickens are bred into existence they don't ask to be here they're bred into existence by humans because humans want to eat their flesh they're forced to live in these disgusting horrible factory farms i've been in to a chicken factory farm it was the most disgusting horrible place filthy it's disgusting facility full of suffering. There are dead birds on the floor, you know, birds birds that suffered and died because of the harsh environment, or, you know, the fact that their bodies have been manipulated to grow at rates that they can't handle. You know, chickens, little these little chickens, they're basically babies in oversized bodies, overinflated bodies. Their bodies are grown huge their little legs can't keep up with that they can hardly move in these factory farms you look in there it is a sea of birds just a sea of birds and they were they're all trampling on each other 
they're living on layers and layers of their own feces they can't escape from that horrible disease-ridden hell holes and that's how we're treating innocent little baby birds baby birds you know they didn't ask to be here they didn't ask to be born they're born they're completely innocent completely faultless and they're vulnerable and we take advantage of them a huge the ma most the most massive injustice that we do this to innocent beings and you know what if it were puppies if it were little baby puppies in these facilities in these disgusting hell holes you would be raging the public would be fuming all these people in here making jokes like ha ha oh really funny this chicken said oh so funny oh ha ha these people would be the same people fuming and raging and calling for these places to be shut down absolute hypocrisy okay let's continue jamie says as much as i love wings i don't want to think of where they come from and the head would just turn me off to ever eating them again okay so jamie's being pretty honest here i think a lot of people are like jamie they don't want to think about where their food comes from they don't want to think about the suffering because they it's like they put it to the, the, the back of their mind they don't want to think about it they just go to the store they pick up a body in a bag they go to a takeaway and they pick up fried wings they don't think about where those wings came from but Jamie and everyone else, you've got to wake up. You have to open your eyes. You have to see the suffering and the violence that is, you know, a direct consequence of your choices, your choice to eat the flesh of these innocent beings. You know, it's supply and demand. These industries don't exist without consumers paying for them to exist. If everyone stops paying for it, if we all went vegan, stop paying for these industries, to exist then we wouldn't have animals suffering in factory farms and being carted off to murder factories to be gassed to death the only reason that animals are here is because they are bred to be here because consumers and the public wants to eat flesh and you know these animals don't exist in the wild chickens cows pigs they've been m manipulated to grow at rates they can't handle you've got oversized chickens oversized pigs cows producing 10 times more milk than they naturally would it's insane this comment says looks like a baby chick with laughing faces but then a like a really distraught face it looks like a baby chick because it is a baby chicken chickens are four to six weeks old when they're murdered they're babies they are babies in oversized bodies suffered babies babies that suffered horrible horrible existences and even more horrible deaths angela says my daughter said mom you know how we find shapes in the clouds if you look you'll see the whole chicken lol kids but i do see it well you know the amount of jokey comments on here people laughing you know taking the mick out of the chicken's face totally saddening like what did that chicken ever do to deserve to be forced into an existence murdered and then mocked and you know it's basically guaranteed that if this post was different and had maybe like i don't know a dog's paw in there or something from i don't know a cat or something there would be outrage but because it's a chicken nobody cares nobody cares you know all i can say is wake up what is the difference between a dog a cat and a chicken they all feel pain and suffering they can all experience happiness and joy and all of them deserve our protection 